Hey Virgo, welcome back, welcome back. I hope you guys had a lovely weekend. This is Kelly from House of Bur- uh, Virgo. Duh! This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe. If you enjoy the readings, keep in mind this is a general reading. Some of the messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. But all signs are welcome. All right, Virgo, we're going to do your Sunday singles. See what your messages are for who's coming toward you um from now we'll go into the month of june if anyone new is coming toward you in love their physical features and other message we might be able to get see what spirit wants you to know okay um also personal reading links are in the description box below you can book with me or brandy if you're unable to book with me okay so let's get into this okay so you've got make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Express your love, Virgo. Go ahead and make some kind of romantic gesture. Let's see what else is coming towards you. Uh, let's see. Whoa, a whole bunch of stuff popping out. Yeah, okay. Let me, come on, pick it up, pick it up. Okay. There's passion. You have new love. A new person is stirring your romantic feelings. Ooh la la. You've also got children. And your love life could be affected by children. And you've got you deserve love. Virgo, you are lovable. That's right. Virgo is lovable. Okay. So there's definitely a new love coming in. Why can I never pick up these cards? Okay. Oh, real quick release your ex Virgo hey you know what new love sometimes new love can come in if you have your ex uh, energetically still in your life um, for some of you that might be the boost you need to let go and for others um, you may need to really like release your ex and start looking around or just trying to make yourself available for new love opportunities all right so let's take a look at the tarot <coughs> excuse me Let's see, Virgo. Okay. We've got cards sticking with cards, sticking with cards. All right. Spirit, please tell Virgo who's coming in. Who is this new love opportunity? Um, someone making a romantic gesture towards Virgo. Who is this? What can you tell Virgo about this person? Okay. So it seems like they might be at a distance to you. Um, yeah. Uh, they could be somebody that you're talking to online. Hopefully you're not doing those online long distance relationships. Um, if you are, um, see to it that, you know, there's a plan to meet. And if somebody's not meeting you within a certain amount of time, be gone, be done with that. Okay. Um, for your better health, Virgo. Um, so this could be somebody you're talking to online. Um, somebody you connect with through some kind of online service. World Wide Web. Kind of energy okay hmm oh okay that's a uh, stir right all right so hmm this person's very intuitive i have to say um they have like there's a very i don't know hmm yeah this this person's like oh my goodness <laughs> I'm just picking up like a very intuitive vibe from this person. That's all I can really see. This is like someone who trusts their gut. Okay, that's great. You know, um, as it should be. But let's see what else is showing up here for Virgo. Gosh, I'm having a day today with the cards. Um, okay. All right, King of Wands. So, it's a fire sign, Virgo. There's a fire sign. Um... Fire sign is battling a lot of stuff, I feel. Um, it's trying to get away from an abusive relationship or someone is just trying to, like, get away from someone who's just making them nuts. Um, so, hmm. So, Virgo, um, I don't feel like this person's coming in without some baggage. I just have to say that, okay? Um, there's, <clears throat> excuse me. I mean, there's definitely something here with this person where they're they're definitely in this. 
they got a lot of stuff going on external to them <clears throat> where there's like some drama i'm just gonna say that okay so you know i wish i could bring you like a, a prince or princess on a platter um unless you're planning to date like a virgin and someone that has not experienced life yet um this is gonna happen um so i don't really feel like perfectionism is going to be needed here i do feel like whoever this person is coming in this king of wands all right and you can reverse the roles male or female is what i mean um yeah they're they're kind of like trying to get some energy off their back so they got some problems okay and i do feel like they have made a decision to move away from some negative energy and it doesn't have to be that they have baggage with an ex i mean if that shows up it shows up but whatever whatever's going on they're handling it i feel and they are definitely in this position of like trying to block that energy just keep it out of their life there's just definitely some drama and they are someone who has made a decision that they're moving on and trying to have like a new start in their life okay um all right so okay that's your first message what else does virgo need to know about this person that's coming towards them now just remember there's a lot of virgos listening to me right now so it may be for you but there may be um it may not be this person for you okay so just listen with an open mind is what i feel like i need to tell you what the f so okay of the king of swords and the queen of swords all right Oh, 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 la la, and the moon. Okay, some of you do have. All right, you know what? <laughs> this is how this is going to go. There's also a King of Swords, King of Swords, Queen of Swords. Okay, one or the other coming towards you. Why is this moon here? What's going on? Show Virgo, what is, why is this? Okay, Virgo. Um, all right, I just heard some of you Virgos have this like, um, you got some shady fool that you're also going to be dealing with coming up. Okay, I don't know who this person is. I feel like... Yeah, I'm having a hard time reading this one. I feel like there is someone else as well. Could be someone who uh, maybe you were involved with an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. Um, or this is your energy here, male or female. Because they came out together. So I do kind of feel like that's like it's it's like maybe they're bi. Um, or they're confused about their sexuality. Or they're, they're you know, maybe they're homosexual. I don't know. Um, or to you. Um but this is like one person. This feels like one person. Okay. Anyway, there's there's a little bit of shady behavior that I kind of feel like someone's doing some risky, shady behavior coming towards you. Okay. Why are they coming? Like, what's... Oh, my gosh. Yes. Okay. Oh, my gosh. There's a lot... Like, the King of Wands, the King of Swords, the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Cups. There's a lot of people. So, for some of you, there could be a King of Wands coming towards you. For others... Um, there's a queen of cups coming towards you, okay, which would be water, energy, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, okay, because I really feel Virgo, and you can take, you can, if you want to read your own cards, go get your own channel, but I really feel like this is your energy, um, combined, because Virgo, the, the sword energy, the queen of swords can, or the king of swords can sometimes represent Virgo's energy, because it's, especially in the Gemini, it's Mercury ruled, so it's all about communication and truth, and I feel like, I don't know, I have to explain myself, but I feel like there is a queen of cups also showing up, okay, um, I want to see what's going on with this moon and this fool energy, oh boy, I don't know, Virgo. I feel like <laughs> this Queen of Cups is showing up really shady. Um, really shady. And that Ten of Cups in the reverse kind of, yeah, I don't know. This is like trouble um, or broken, broken up kind of thing. I feel like this Queen of Cups is trying to come at you. Now, I don't know if they are separated or um, they're divorced. They left 
they were they were cheating. I feel like there's somebody also coming towards you who um, their relationship or their marriage, the relationship ended because they were being shady and they were stepping out carelessly and taking some risks. So what is this? A warning? <laughs> Virgo, is this a warning for you? I don't think Virgo's going to have a problem because Virgo is just like, yeah, I'm going to need some proof. You need to hand it over right now. I need to see your like prison records and your references. Okay, whether you know this person or not, I don't know. But I do feel like there's a couple of people coming in during this time period. Okay, um, so if you're single as a Pringle and you are keeping your options open and you're meeting people, um, this is going to be your reading. Okay, if you're sitting home on your couch watching Netflix and eating potato chips and you're not doing anything, um, I don't, and you have no drama in your life, this isn't going to be you. Um, this is for people who are single, but they're social. Okay. Um, you know, if you're at home and you're doing nothing and you're listening to me and it's like, when's love coming to my life? Honey, when you get up off that damn couch, get your ass back to the gym, start getting your hair done, go get that haircut and that, you know, trim your beard, wash your ass, get out there and, you know, mingle single as Pringle. You know, I, I'm not, I can't bring people to you. Yeah, I can't. This, this is, if that's you and you're not doing anything, then I don't want to hear it. This isn't for you. I don't want to hear that. Well, this ain't my reading because I'm not doing anything. Well, of course it's not because you're not doing anything. You got to be out there. Like nobody's going to come with a shovel and try to dig you up out of, out of the mountain that you're hiding in, your little cave, and try to find you. So, okay. So yeah, this, for those of you who are out there, there's like, couple different people coming towards you okay usually we just got one but we have a couple different people coming towards you and one of them is they definitely have some drama to summarize and they definitely have some stuff but they got it under control and they're handling it now if is this drama with another person like a romantic person or someone that they were dating or is this drama with others like a group of people whatever's external to them they're they're pushing back on that they're blocking on on that they don't want that in their life anymore and you know they there's some type of communication you guys will engage and you might find out about this um either they're at a distance or you communicate online that um you know i actually just want to pull the two of swords i just want to get a clarifying card for the two of swords Okay, yeah, so either they were married or in a long-term committed thing, and they've, they've and they decided it's done. They're putting, and this is not someone, like, it's a king of wands, okay? It's fire. This is not someone that sits home and mopes for, like, six months um, or a year before they, now, the, the king of wands is basically like, yep, that's over, next, and keeps it moving. You know, the king of wands does not wallow, king of wands does not shed tears and get down into like a sorry sappy ass type of energy king of wands is like sunshine vibrancy keep it going adventurous and is very positive um whatever was going on with the relationship that they were in or whatever they were involved in that was like a committed kind of thing it's ended and they're like no it's done and they are not trying to go back the king of wands just doesn't generally return back because they're so confident that they know that there's you know a lid for every pot and they stay upbeat and positive and that they will find somebody there will be somebody else for them okay king of wands queen of wands they just are like basically their attitude is like i'm the shit and you're lucky you had me and you're lost next so yeah I do feel like, though, that this Queen of Cups coming towards you is kind of very emotional. Yes, yeah, very emotional and a bit shady and a bit vague. Um, they kind of have those Scott Peterson vibes. Not, not the ending part, but just like lives in kind of a weird fantasy world. Is just not really in tune with what's going on around them. They kind of like to lie about things and a bit deceptive. And, you know, I, I don't know, Virgo, if I had to give you a warning, I feel like your warning is to kind of like don't date Scott Peterson or Patricia Peterson or anybody related to that kind of energy. Like, keep it moving. Yeah, too much. There's just too much fantasy. Um, and 
they kind of like have very deep feelings, but like they keep a lid on their feelings. So they don't really communicate how they feel. I don't even feel like this person can discern how they feel. They wouldn't even know. They can't put it, their feelings into words. They just feel. They're just like a walking bubble of emotional feels. And they don't really talk. Meanwhile, Virgo's like, hey, guess what? I can talk about my feelings. Like, I can talk and walk at the same time. That's Virgo. Virgo's like, yeah, I can express my feelings. Sure. I'm gonna, Virgo's not going to go into like this long depth type of thing. But Virgo's like, hey, okay, let's see. I'm feeling happy. Let me just tell you about it. I'm feeling sad. I'll just say I'm sad. I'm feeling angry. Okay, I'm going to say that. You know, um, I don't feel like this is a really good match. I don't know why. I just don't. Look, here's Queen of Wands again. Yeah, I feel like kind of Virgo, you might be a little bit inspired by the energy of fire. Because fire is like basically that that friend that's that you know comes into your house and like lifts all the blinds and opens up the windows to brings in the fresh air lets the light in you know this is this is like that type of person you know they they you know they 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 put you in the shower they pick out your clothes they're like come on we're going out they don't want to hear no you know i don't ever, and this person is not like if you're like protesting and like no they're like that's fine We'll just go for a walk, but you're getting out of this house and you're going to go do something. Like this is someone who takes you on an adventure or is just just a very positive because Virgo, I know sometimes you can get into overthinking and the fires are like, there's so much steam coming from your head and it should be coming off your feet. You should be moving. You should get up there and get going and get moving. Okay, so it's very, I like the energy of the fire. Now, if you're someone who says, oh, I've been with fire signs before and they're awful, you may have been with fire signs that were in the reverse. Okay, because not all fire signs, fire signs in the upright are fabulous. They're amazing. They're energetic. The person you might have been with in the reverse might have some might have been someone who was very like angry and overly aggressive or a bully, you know, um, or just someone who was not ready to commit. That's that's usually fire in the reverse. Okay, and cold, not in the upright. Okay, so yeah, I feel like. Um, the two choices, like I feel like you're going to try to be really clear if you talk to this watery energy. You're going to try to be clear with this person and have conversations. You might even call your brother and be like, what's the matter with this person? And have them come in and talk to this person if you're talking to them. I, it's just an example. But I don't feel like you're going to really be like, mm. Mm. because there's shady behavior. I can't like, you know what, if if this person, if the moon wasn't here, Virgo, and it was just the fool and the ten of cups in the reverse, I would just be like, okay, this relationship ended and this queen of cups <clears throat> has moved on. But I don't like this. This is hiding, this moon. This is like deception. This is like someone who um, can't see problems before they happen. They're lacking that precognition. This is someone who um, just keeps secrets and stuff and doesn't reveal very much. And even if it's a good match in other areas, that part I feel like isn't going to match with you because Virgo, you're like crystal clear, clarity of vision. <clears throat> you know, you're very intentional. You know, you're a total honest freak. You know, you're very self-sufficient and independent, as well as you have, you know, your resourcefulness and your practical and stuff like that. But you're too practical for this emotional Waterloo. I feel like that might be something you come to terms with, okay? <clears throat> I don't know that this person's really a bad person. I just think that they don't, they, there is deception behind why something ended with another person, and I feel like they might not say it, or they just might kind of be very vague about what happened, and Virgo's like, no, don't be vague, just tell the truth, okay, so, oh, I just have to make check, I don't know what's going on, like, I keep thinking that I'm not recording, um, so yeah, I kind of feel like, you know, you got a couple options here, and I'm definitely not going to tell you what to do, but I do feel like, you're, you will get a, an opportunity to decide what it, or who's going to fit you better. Yeah, just like I said, you know, you're going to get an opportunity. 
you know, on on both. It's like, that's the beauty about dating. You get to choose. <laughs> you don't have to, like, fall for the first person that comes along. You get to, like, figure out what it is that you want. It's like when you go, you know, shopping, Virgo, especially females. Like, I mean, I feel like the guys are kind of, they're kind of clear, you know. They're just kind of like, well, I go into a store and I already know what I want. If I see it, I can just grab it. Um, Virgos know what they want, but then there's so many of these caveats and nuances to pick out something, you know, and Virgo especially reads all the ingredient labels. Virgo wants to know where it's made. Virgo wants to know how much it costs. Virgo wants to know if there's any bargains or discounts. Virgo wants to know what the threading is like, you know, Virgo's like really gets into it. So, um, I think though, it's crazy, but I feel like the, the, the fire is going to be more the one kind of leading the way. I'm picking up a really strong alpha energy, male or female. The, 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 the fire is going to be the one leading the way. The, the water, you're going to be the one leading that. So whatever you prefer, it's up to you, right? It's up to you. Um, let me see what your other messages are here going forward. Physical features, a mirror love oracle, any other messages? I know I should be doing the singles reading more so like what you need to be doing with yourself as a single person. Um, but this is kind of a who's, who's coming towards you. But I will say, Virgo, if you are single and you don't have anyone in your life at this time, um, I hope that you are not focusing on what you don't have and being grateful for what you do have. And I hope that you can like get yourself in the mindset like that if you are not already in that because it's one thing to have someone by your side just to have someone in, by your side. Um, relationships are a lot of hard work and a lot of people out here don't even know what they're doing and can barely even figure them own selves out and what they need to do with themselves, you know? So there isn't going to be anyone that's going to really just come in and shield you from yourself basically you know i don't know i just sometimes i feel like relationships get like they're so overrated i mean i, I know some of you guys have been married <laughs> the work and the effort and when you're dealing with someone that is reflecting not only the good but the negatives about yourself back to you if you're not that person that's willing to look at yourself and say "Ooh." <laughs> you know um yes I'm great but I do have some flaws then you know relationships are tough I mean I don't know uh, it's like the difference between like staying home and raising kids or going out to your job um I stayed home and raised kids and I worked also out of the house and working out of the house was a lot easier because you're dealing with adults children are insane when they're little <laughs> they're like little crazy people running around so yeah Virgo I feel like it's kind of like that but anyway love is love and you know when you find someone that just fits you beautifully and you both uh, fit each other it, it's just more better than it's worse and that's how I feel like it should be relationships should be more positives in a relationship than negatives coming from both sides not just one putting in all the positive all the time it's got to be equal okay anyway that was my rant what do I know I don't know anything let me see okay ice king boss entrepreneur detached hmm and that might be you, Virgo. You might be the Ice King right now. Bossing up, doing your business thing, and not trying to get into any relationships or just really not putting yourself out there. Not sitting on the on the couch and, you know, being a bum. You might be um, taking some breaks, but I definitely feel like you are really focused on not relationships, some of you right now. Just trying to boss up some stuff or get your business going or become self-employed, you know, detaching from relationships at this time. It doesn't mean people aren't going to show up. I do see a couple of people showing up here in your life. Okay. You've got friendship and children again. So that's the second time children has shown up. So maybe you're taking care of children. Maybe that's your job or you have your own children um, or you want children. That could be like a priority for you at this time in your life, you know, depending on how old you are. Um, you could be watching your grandchildren or taking care of them. Um, and there is also this energy here, Virgo, where there's a childlike innocence. 
Um, so I kind of feel like while you're bossing up and doing the stuff that you need to do or getting your business together, or just detaching, um, I feel like you're really getting back for yourself. Some of you going forward into having this like just being happy, like a child, just not being childish, but childlike, like enjoying yourself, going out and play, playing again, so to speak. I don't know. Maybe you're swinging on the swings or you're hanging out at parks, or you're just trying to reattach yourself to your youth again. And I see a lot of you actually making some friends during this time, which is so important. Networking, having acquaintances, and picking up a friend group during this time as well as a single person, which is awesome. You've got some friends. Or you're going to make some friends coming soon. And that's, I mean, that's a lovely thing, having a friend group or connecting with some friends. I know some of you like, are like, nah, I got my dog and I got my cats. <laughs> and that's fine. If you don't want friends, you don't have to have friends. Let me see. What else does Virgo need to know here? I don't even know how much time we're at here. Okay. Oh, she showed up before. Also, mature woman, socialite, connecting, high society. Okay. Hmm. Well, the difference between being childlike and being mature is that's a huge gap in between. Okay. Some of you are actually maturing. That's what I feel like. Maybe your relationships in the past, um, hmm. There's growth. That's what I feel. That's what the gap is in between. If in the past you were kind of like childlike in your decisions about relationships and people that you got in to relationships with, um, I feel like you're seasoned. I feel like things are different for you now. Your priorities are different about who you want to connect with. Maybe in the past you were still kind of, I don't know how to say this, like, relationships or dating like you were still 20 that makes sense maybe you were married for a really long time and you got back out in the dating world and it's like i don't know how to do this do i some of you might have went back out into the dating world like as if the age you were before you settled down with somebody okay um and you've matured now now you're, you're, you know, either like you're older now and you're not trying to date people the way you used to. Now you're actually vetting. You're talking to people and you like, you have different priorities and the things that you want now are different than what you wanted when you were younger. And that's great because that's where it should be. I mean, if you're like 65 and you're dating like a 20 year old, well, 20 year olds are, are, you know, just trying to have fun and like 25 and up are trying to have babies and get married. So I don't know. I'm kind of hoping that like you're, you're, you've advanced in a lot of ways, depending on how old you are. I just kind of feel like this is just your energy of like, you know, the things that I want now are not the things I wanted 20 years ago, even 10 years ago. Um, so, but I also feel like you're not taking yourself too seriously and you're also trying to have fun in your life, which is a positive for you, Virgo. And so that's like the energy playing out coming up for you. Kind of like a little spin on your dating life, your single life. Yeah, look at that past life, knowing deja vu, past past life love that you have evolved from as well, or you are evolving from a past life, a past person, a past love, maybe somebody you had kids with, you've matured, you know, male or female, mature woman, mature male, but you've evolved. And from that, you've evolved from a past lover, you've outgrown them, you've changed you don't want the same things. Okay, so you also have some gifts coming in for you too. There might be a gift from a past love as well. I'm just going to put that out there. Some presents or some kind of surprise. Okay. Yeah, and this is someone I feel like is fair. So they have like lighter, either lighter skin or lighter eyes or lighter hair. And if it's not a past love, I mean, it could be a... a could be a son if you have a son that looks like that might be giving you a gift or surprising you with something um or maybe you have a son that's like a gift to you maybe you have an only son an only child and you know you're thinking about them and what a gift they are to you in your life okay uh one more please for virgo oh they said no two more okay long distance 
youthful young female. Okay. Hmm. So yeah, there's definitely going to be a long connect, long distance connection also with a young female. Um, so this will be someone who is in her, she's somewhere in her teens to her early twenties. Okay. And, um, she's attached to music and fashion. Okay. But she's at a long distance, like foreign, land or foreign country so that could be something connected to your work it could be family um i do feel like as a single person there will be um something coming up in relation to you in relation to her it doesn't feel romantic it feels more like hmm you have ice queen okay hmm She's leaving her mother. She's coming to where you are. Or she's moving out. That's what I hear. It's just what I hear. She's leaving her mother. And she's she's coming, flying out to you. Um, or she's your daughter and she's coming back. Yeah, there's going to be some communication. About a mother and a daughter long distance. Okay? There's going to be some communication texting phone calls or some online messages in regards to this young female and a mother figure okay one more just one more all right triangle crowded relationship choices <laughs> well you you definitely have um there's a triangle for sure okay you're gonna have to make a decision there's a decision coming up as a single person. It looks like you're going to connect with two people. Now, listen, Virgo, the messages that I'm giving you about these two different people, um, it's up to you at the end of the day when you meet them to be able to vet these people on your own, despite what I say. You keep it in the back of your mind, but you have the final decision. If I tell you that, you know, person A is coming in and they're like coming down from heaven and they're the most amazing person and you find out they've been in jail for murder. Um, yeah, that, it's going to be your decision at the end of the day. <laughs> okay. So don't take my advice literally, like take it with a grain of salt because I'm not there in your life. And, um, I don't want you coming back to me and saying, yeah, you know, that person you were talking about. Okay. Well, uh, he or she, um, yeah, they did something really, really, really bad. So I'm confused. No, don't be confused. If you're not comfortable that they did something really bad, then take your own advice, okay? Just leave it out there. Just, you know, just leave it out there. All right, Virgo, so that's going to be your singles reading. I mean, hey, I was thinking I should do some, like, crime tarot. Should I do some crime? Um, crime tarot. I'll have to figure out how to do that. Like, maybe, I don't know. I want to do something with like crime you know you guys how they have all those crime shows and stuff like i really want to get into that but anyway yeah let me know if you have any ideas send me an of um an email house of virgo the link is in the description box below if you have any ideas for like something to do with tarot reading and crime or what you would like to see yeah give me a heads up send me an email let me know what you think maybe something cool can happen this summer all right you guys have a great week uh, ahead and don't forget click that like button on your way out i don't even care if you don't subscribe just click the like button so that the algorithm is like hey we see you and uh if you want to book a reading there's a link in the description box below all right love you bye